catch up. It is Wednesday morning and where are we? What are we doing? <laughs> What's the deal? Let's catch up. Here's everything. Right now we are in Reno, Nevada. It's only like a week and a half since I recorded the last vlog. I don't know when this one is coming out in your timeline, but in my timeline, it's been a week and a half since last vlog when I was updating you on like all the messy life updates and what I should have said at the beginning of that video is this is gonna be an awesome year. We have really great things coming up and I can't wait to share all of that. But yeah, we've had a very rocky start and the rocky start has not stopped. <laughs> like we're still, we're still getting it together. And right now we're in Reno with Grant. Grant's at work right now, um, but he's working out of town for a little over a week. And he's done this several times in the last year. And this is the first time that we've like, tagged along um, obviously it's hard being apart and really like both options are hard there's not one that's like a clear cut this one's less challenging because having the parents split up and one parent taking full responsibility for Lucy and the other one being far away working which obviously is a lot of work in itself but they are kind of powerless to help if there is a situation at home which that has happened to us in the past when he's working out of town. Um, but also traveling can be tough and obviously it's a lot more to pack and you're far away from home and you don't have all of your comforts and you know everything for Lucy and sometimes traveling can be really, really tough for Lucy. We're still figuring those things out and like we're finding new solutions all the time, but it's it can be really stressful. So like there's no clear option, but we're trying this one. We're trying the tag along technique and hopefully he won't be traveling much going forward in the future. I think this is one of his last times working out of town for this year, hopefully forever. <laughs> I'm sure that's not the case, but it was a long road to get here. So rewinding back, I stopped recording right before we went out of town for about like 24 hours and then we came back Monday night and then we were supposed to leave again on a Friday. But then Thursday evening, we ended up having to go to the ER with Lucy and we were at the ER from like 7 p.m. to like 3.30 a.m. and it was mostly waiting that whole time. And we saw the doctor, we did x-rays, like it's a whole situation, it's complicated, I'm not gonna explain everything, but we ended up coming home and then getting like two hours of sleep and then in the morning go to the pediatrician doing blood work, all of that. It was an absolutely crazy day. We were like scrambling to get everything packed because our flight was that evening and we decided to go forward with that crazy choice, but we did it. Once we got to the airport, the flight was delayed about an hour and then we got to sit on the plane for about an hour before they said we've got maintenance issues and you can either get off the plane or we can wait however long it's gonna be. And I just feel like if they give you the option to get off the plane that you're already on and your bags are on and all of that, like it's a serious situation and you should probably take that option. So we went ahead and got off and rescheduled our flight to the next morning at 6 a.m. We have caught up on our sleep so much. Like we've been here since Saturday, it's Wednesday and we've gotten so much sleep like that was our whole vision for this trip like i said last vlog we're doing a lot of trips not vacations but this is a trip that we're kind of trying to treat like a vacation at least like in the way that we're getting a lot of rest and we're trying to just like rest and relax and get caught up on sleep and just like chill i feel like we're doing so much better lucy is back to 100 percent with her sleep she slept so much and she slept so well since we've been here uh the place we're in right now it's I don't know how to explain it. It's not an Airbnb, but it's also not a hotel. It's kind of like an Airbnb that's operated like a hotel. It's like an apartment building. We have a two bedroom, two bathroom, and it's really been the best setup. I wish they had this everywhere. I hope this is something that's gonna like catch on in every city and we can have this anywhere we need it because having the full kitchen with a baby is just, amazing and obviously having the option to cook at home and eat at home is so nice We're all feeling so much better because like it was a hard scary couple of days before we got here and lucy's doing great we did that blood work at her pediatrician all of it's looking good um, it was a really scary night, but we're here, we're happy, we're healthy, we're feeling good, and we're trying to have some fun. Okay, me from the future interjecting, I completely forgot that we had an earthquake here at the very beginning of our trip. It, 
it was super small but i've never been in an earthquake like i honestly didn't even recognize it for what it was when it was happening like to me it felt like there's like vibration in the floor because someone's like running down the hall really loud or like stomping you know what i mean but immediately grant was like was that an earthquake because he's experienced it before i was sitting on the floor with lucy playing um but we were all in the room here and lo and behold it was like a three on the scale so nothing crazy but crazy right also crazy that i have so much going on in my brain that i completely forgot to tell you guys about an actual earthquake that happened anyway back back to everything else so the last few days since we've been here we've just been like resting relaxing exploring reno a little bit i've never been here before one thing that we're doing that I really wanted to do and I think Grant was a little bit hesitant is I wanted to stay on central time like our time zone in Texas even though we're here and we're supposed to be like two hours behind I just don't want to be like switching up time zones on her like for no reason so like technically we're like eating dinner at like 4 p.m. 3 p.m. sometimes like we went out to eat the other night and got there literally at 2.45 and that was our dinner time. Because when we go out to eat and we're bringing Lucy, we always try to go out at like 5 p.m. And so that was like 3 p.m. here. And we were the only ones in the entire restaurant. And you know what? I loved it, no regrets. I am totally fine with being on our own personal time zone here. It's working for us and I think it'll just make it a lot easier to transition back home and just like be back to normal really quickly. So. Oh, hello. Hello. Sorry to bust in on you. You're busting in on me. Look at this girl. This girl got a hair wash. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Lucy is so interested in literally anything I'm drinking. If I'm drinking it, that's the moment she should also be drinking it. Which like, the straw situation does not work for her, but she goes for it. That is one thing you can say about Lucy is she goes for it, especially if I'm going for it at the same time. So I think that's all the catching up I need to do right now. So obviously life has continued to be stressful and messy and it's kind of been like emergency situation after emergency situation, but I have every expectation that after this trip, when we have a good break from traveling for a while, everything's gonna calm down. And I mean, that's life, stress, 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 calm stress 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 calm and you always just have to remember that but like getting through these stress times is hard and i know that you guys are in it with me and i mean it could look completely different obviously it most likely does but i know that you guys are you know in it with me because that's just life so that brings me to the sponsor of this portion of the video, BetterHelp. Thank you to them for again, sponsoring the vlog. I just feel like it's so important and so helpful to talk through your issues and your stress and even like big decisions. Like you've got big things coming up, we all do. And talking through those things, like obviously with friends and family, it's awesome. But to have an outside perspective, someone that can be there to just be a listening ear so you can process through things by talking or to just encourage you when you need encouragement. I think that is so helpful. BetterHelp is just a really awesome way to get therapy because even if you're super crazy busy or you have an unpredictable schedule or maybe you're like traveling a lot like us lately, you can stay consistent with therapy and you don't have to take big breaks. It's all online so you can access it wherever you are and getting set up with BetterHelp couldn't be easier you just go on their site the link will be in the description down below and you answer a few questions you tell about yourself talk about your situation your expectations and then from there you get matched with a licensed therapist and the whole matching process happens within about 48 hours or less usually. So that speed and accessibility is just what sets them apart. So if you've been considering therapy, definitely check out BetterHelp. It's a good option. You can go to betterhelp.com slash Leanne says, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P. And the link will be in the description. And if you use my link, you can actually get 10% off your first month of therapy. We got a hungry bunny. Lucy is just going down for her nap right now and we're about to have lunch. I hear you giggling, girl. There's a baby. <laughs> Hot out the tent. <laughs> Big smile.
We got hung up a little bit because Grant had a really long work call, but now we're parked right near the Reno River Walk. I really don't know anything about it, but we decided to come down here just to walk around, explore a little bit. It is super, super windy, so hopefully it's not too short of a walk, but I think it'll be fun to explore a little bit. Okay, the wind was crazy, my nose is frozen, and we weren't really out there that long. We were walking fast, we saw a lot of stuff. I would love to see the big whale sculpture or installation, I don't know what you call it, because apparently it lights up, it's like stained glass, and it looks really cool at night. Also, the arch, the famous arch. I'm glad we saw it, but I know it would be cooler with the lights on. But like I said, I didn't do my research, I didn't really know what to expect, and we had a walk, we got some steps in. I will say, you know, when you say river walk, obviously it can mean a lot of things, but the only river walk I've really experienced in my life is the San Antonio River Walk. A different vibe, I will say. It's like solid restaurants and shops and families and stuff like that. And you know, it's a weekday. It could be totally different during the weekend, who knows? And it's also like not the weather to be out there on a walk. And right now I'm reminded of my theory your town can look like anything or your city can look like anything and it's still going to be kind of beautiful and magical if you're surrounded by mountains and that is the situation here i have never lived around mountains and they are just so beautiful to me and like i love it i would love to live around mountains they're so gorgeous it's like we are surrounded by strip malls and shell stations and hotels but it's just so pretty with a backdrop of mountains and snow on the mountains and like the sunset over the mountains and everything i don't know i'm just like enchanted by it right now we're hungry so we're gonna go to the black bear diner it's right by where we're staying and it's like always packed and it's got really good reviews and we're starving so we're gonna make it happen the Bank of America, but if there's mountains behind it, it's beautiful. What are you gonna order? Whipped cream. This menu goes on forever and ever and ever. How's it going, Miss Chicken? Are you busy playing? Yeah, there's a Lucy bug. Yeah. supplies for us a provider providing welcome back welcome back okay we're just about to start baking some chicken and doing lucy's whole bedtime routine but i wanted to give you a review because i think i kind of hyped up that diner place <laughs> mine was amazing the cinnamon roll french toast i could eat it again right now it was so good the icing even with syrup on it but you could eat it without syrup it was so good grants however wasn't my favorite the chicken fried steak kind of tasted like the steak fingers from Dairy Queen. And really everything on the plate needed some salt. It was fine, but if you go there, get the cinnamon roll French toast. It was amazing. It was life changing. What'd you think, Grant? I don't know, man. Get something different next time. We've got how many more days here? Four. We're halfway through. Well, my hair is still so fluffy from washing it this morning. I had to work out, wash my hair, get it together. And now I just got to CVS. I ran out by myself because I just need to restock on a couple of necessities like moisturizer, dry shampoo, eye makeup remover, like 
very essential things. Somehow all of my little travel items ran out at the same time. So got to make that happen. And then I have a call in like 30 minutes. Grant has a call at the exact same time. I don't know how this happened, but Lucy's going to go down for a nap. We'll have our calls. We got a lot to do right now. <laughs> all right, let's go into CVS. This looks like a good one. Please scan it. All back. Grant's got court. I got court. That's why we're really back in Reno. Yeah. He's got court today. Daddy's not going back. So to catch you up to speed a little bit, uh, we both had our calls, which were very quick and successful. And then Lucy had her nap. We had lunch. Lucy had her snack. Um, during Lucy's nap, we did some what? It's snowing. <gasps> it's snowing, Liz Goose. It was actually supposed to snow this morning and we didn't see anything, but it's been on the weather forecast on Sunday for days. So I'm really counting on Sunday and that's our last day here. So it better happen. Anyway, during Lucy's nap, we tried to have like a little planning meeting for February because January really got away from us. It was just, it was just crazy. And I'm really determined to not let February also be crazy. Like, determined it is not going to happen we are gonna like be home we're gonna accomplish things we're gonna stay out of the er i probably shouldn't say that a little jake says but like <laughs> we went to the er three times in january like enough is enough like we're good for the year yeah, thank you so much <laughs> anyway right now we have less of a plan than we do for february but we're gonna go to this like reno public marketplace it's just like right down the street we've driven past it like 17 times now and i want to see what's going on in there i didn't really look it up but we're going to check that out i've been talking about wanting to go to cold stone this entire time we've been here because there's also a cold stone nearby and i don't know about you but i like loved cold stone especially in high school birthday cake remix that was my all-time favorite order i would love to have that again because all the cold stones have disappeared from houston and so seeing it i was just like I need to have that. I don't care that it's 30 degrees right now. Like, I need it. We gotta go. We gotta today go. Today's the day. Today's the day. Yeah. Who, me? Just hanging around. You ready to get going? That's us. Just hanging around. We're just hanging around. Yeah. You telling dad? You wanna go? All right, we gotta go. Okay, what I wanna say before we get up is yesterday I didn't vlog because it was a busier work day for Grant, so I wasn't planning on vlogging, but we did get out and explore a little bit. We went to a mall, and if you know the vlogs, if you know me and Grant, we have a fascination with ghost malls and like early mall style and architecture. And I used to repost like cool old malls on Instagram all the time. I don't do it as much anymore, but like the love is real and we found one of those malls. It was basically like a time capsule mall. I think it was from the 70s, like 76. It was called Reno Town Mall. And it was a full ghost mall and they had updated nothing. So I wasn't vlogging, but I did get some clips. I'm showing you them well, right now. The best specimen we've come across. Oh, I by far. Like this was stepping into one of those Instagram accounts that I follow. Like the details, the skylights, the copper, the foliage, the foliage, the levels, the water feature, the yeah. halls, the fact that the entire the second accents exactly no work. the ceilings covered in copper, the like wood paneling. It was so detailed, nothing was changed and it was just magnificent. Sadly, 
there were like almost no actual stores there. There was like a church, there was a voting spot, there was a nail shop, there's a bridal shop. Um, Un unemployment office. Unemployment office. And there was also a huge like antique mall oh, slash cool. craft mall place. And we definitely enjoyed that place. Like, no, no, you can't resist that kind of situation. I'm so glad it still exists, even though it's like really like, holding on by a thread. I so wish they like put that much effort into like any kind of store at this point. It was amazing. All right, we gotta go. I'm like burning up in the sweater. <laughs> My favorite part of this whole store are their displays on top of the racks, especially this one. lamps grant the brown shades these or these they're amazing hey buggy let's go mama don't want to look at furniture anymore yeah okay convince grant to try on this coat right now we're watching fargo and i feel like he just needs to get this coat his size. Oh. Oh yeah. What do you think, Lucy girl? <laughs> now you can see the snow. We're loading up the car. Headed back with two gigantic lampshades. I can't even get them in the frame. Two gigantic lampshades in my lap. Okay, so that junky place ended up being pretty amazing. We almost left before going to the upper level where they had all the antiques and collectibles and stuff. I'm so glad we went up there because it was a dream. They had so much cool stuff and we looked at literally every single stall and I was like, not, we're not buying anything, we're not buying anything. Like we're, we don't have room in our luggage. Like everything is glass. Like we're just not doing it. I was resisting so hard. We got to the very end of the hall, the very last stall. I saw those lamps. I saw those huge tall lamps. I hope I got a clip of those. I wanted those so bad, but I also fully love the brown ones. We ended up getting the brown ones. We're gonna ship them home. And we also got those two posters or prints that I showed you. And then Grant also got the Fort Worth pen. Everyone was so nice there. I really feel like everybody in Reno that we've come across is so nice. Like everyone's just super, super friendly. I love that. Oh, and I can't forget, Grant got the coat. He tried it on for like two seconds. He was like, I might as well just get it. Anyway, right now we're headed to dinner. What's the place called? Uh, Washoe Public House. Here's our little haul from yesterday and we're just about to head out to get everything shipped back to Houston. I am really hoping these lamps make it safely. I am so in love with them. Are you ready to go get out in the cold? Yeah. Okay, Lucy woke up from her nap like 15 minutes ago and we just parked at the movies. There is a movie theater like very close to where we're staying. Like we, it, basically the same parking lot. We drove because we didn't want to like get the stroller out and bring that into the movies and all. we just 
didn't know how that would work. So we're gonna see Wonka. Lucy has seen one other movie in her life. She's seen the live action Little Mermaid in the theaters. I wanted us to see the new Trolls movie. I don't even know. It's apparently it's not new because it was showing all last week and now it disappeared. So we're seeing Wonka. We'll see how it goes. If Lucy likes it, great. If she doesn't like it, we'll leave. Timothy Chamalama. Lucy Goosey. Are you at the movies? Yeah. 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 In theaters starting January 12th. All right, we're back from the movie, and I'll definitely say that it was better than I expected, and I didn't really have much expectations. I just, I do love the original Willy Wonka movie. So there's obviously a lot to live up to. Lucy was so chill. Like she spoke up a little bit here and there, but like no big deal, obviously. And she was just like chilling. And it was kind of a long movie. So like very impressed with Lucy. When am I not? Um, but the movie, I, I liked it. It was fun to watch. There was a lot going on. It wasn't boring at all. The one thing that was missing for me, I'm, I'm trying not to compare it to like the original and I, I would never compare it to the Johnny Depp one like that is just like a tragedy but the thing that was missing for me was Wonka's like spooky quality like yes he's like silly and imaginative and like all of that stuff but like there's a spooky quality that adds to the magic it's like another layer that makes it more interesting and that was definitely missing I mean we didn't really want anything spooky to be happening in this movie because Lucy was there. But for me, we could have had a little bit more like eerie, like what's going on kind of thing. Like what you get in the first one, you know? But that's just me. Anyway, what did you guys think about that movie? We never get to see movies anymore. So it's like an amazing treat to get to go to the movies. Anyway, the weather apps are telling us that there's going to be a winter storm. I have never been witness to a winter storm before, but apparently in the next 24 hours, it's supposed to be like five inches of snow starting tonight, like in the middle of the night. Uh, so we're gonna see some snow tomorrow. I'm really excited about that. Hopefully it doesn't get in the way of our travel, but tomorrow we're just gonna be chill and see some snow. I'm really excited about it. So not only on this trip are we gonna have an earthquake, but we're also going to have a winter storm. It's gonna be a very eventful weather week. We really haven't been doing too much, so let's talk about the weather. <laughs> anyway, it is 4.30. The time here is 4.30, but it's 6.30 to us, so I think we're about to have dinner and just chill and do Lucy's nighttime routine. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I've got high hopes for snow. They better deliver. It is, in fact, snowing. All right, I've just been working on laundry and we've been watching the snow and it's getting pretty heavy. Like it's not, it doesn't look deep or anything, but excuse me if this is just like an everyday, no big deal occurrence in your life. But as a Texan, I am loving this. It is so fun to watch. We're getting out there real soon. Are you all ready to get out there in the snow? Let's do it. <gasps> it's so pretty. You're in the snow, baby. Y'all don't even understand. This is so exciting. Look at this little honey bear. I can't say we were exactly prepared for this. <laughs> it's good you brought that big coat.
such a happy baby. Look at this happy baby. Okay, guys, no on my eyelashes one. Another beautiful salad for lunch made by Grant, and we are eating in bed because Lucy's taking her nap. Sloppy sleeping right now. Uh... I realized this afternoon this vlog really got away from me. I vlogged for way longer than I intended to. I was like, oh, let's just do like two days, and then I ended up vlogging like a little bit over many, many days. It's our last official day here during Lucy's nap time. I was trying to get some editing done. We are packing. We have to have everything absolutely completely packed tonight because our flight leaves at like 6, 6.30 in the morning. That actually worked out really well for us coming in. So I'm glad we got that flight going out. Uh, I'm so distracted because it's just like snow outside the window behind the camera. It has been constant snow and it's been so nice looking at it. It was so fun going out and taking a walk. I think we're gonna go back out, enjoy the snow a little bit more once we get in a better place packing wise. We're gonna go to dinner. It's just been such a different trip. Like, I don't know if we've ever had a trip like this. Like. The, the closest thing I can think of uh, have been our intensives that we've done, but that's also been different because I've mostly been alone with Lucy during those intensives. This whole week, week and a half has just been all three of us. Thankfully, Grant hasn't had to work too, too much. And so we've just been having like really solid, fun family time, just kind of like hanging around, not doing anything too, too special, but it's just been a really good time. And I think we like really needed this like to step out of the routine see some snow be in an earthquake like go to some fun restaurants you know like just be together and not have to like do the regular routine it definitely will feel good to go back to the routine but it's really been nice having a break after all that happened in january and thinking about all that like I want to say something, but I don't want to be corny. I hate being corny, but it's just been on my mind lately, like going through all these hard things, all these challenges, all this unexpected stuff, like just going into the unknown and it's always something, you know, like I feel like my, my perspective has always been this, but it's just become so much more defined in the past two years, like going through all these hard things, like, yes, it's not the best. It's, it's hard but in the end you always come out with more information and you're stronger the next time it happens or you know you learn something that you can take with you even if it doesn't happen again but like in our situation like oh we went to the er three times in a month like that was really hard but we learned a lot along the way and in the past when we've had months like that we learned a lot then and that's what made us so much more prepared to go through a month like january and I don't know, it's just like the way I've said it in the past, which is so corny, is when you carry heavy things, it makes you stronger. But like that has just never been so well-defined in my life. Although I do feel like I've always had that perspective. And I don't know, like if you're going through it, like we've been going through it, I just think that's the way you gotta look at it. It's hard to apply in the moment, but it's just true. Like in any scenario, when you're going through something rough, like you're learning for the future and you're getting more prepared and you're gonna be better equipped to fight the battle in the future. And you know, I just, I just never wanna come off like I'm just like complaining and down in the dumps and having a pity party because ultimately I know we're learning and we're getting better prepared and we're getting stronger through all of this stuff. Ending on a very corny note, I appreciate you guys so much for being here. Thanks for watching my crazy long vlogs. I just, I appreciate your support so, so much. I'll see you in the comments. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that stuff. It helps the channel. All right, thanks. I love you. Bye.